It's time for Tuesday Terror, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Rusty Quill presents... We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 7 Blood, Sweat, and Fears Part 2 of 3 Written by Casey Wayland Okay, do it. Look out below. Anything? Nothing. Hmm. I guess, try, try another. I wanted to see if they went after anyone in particular, but oh well. Still nothing. Fine, dump them all. All that hard work was in those bottles. The moment they hit the ground, they shattered into thousands of pieces filled with blood, sweat, and Kelly tears. After the last one cracked open, we all froze, just listening for movement. Anything? Still nothing. Just great. I heard that a shark can smell one drop of blood in a million drops of water. Well, then we just chummed up the streets. Wouldn't they just come if they heard the crashing? They would have come by now, but if they were downwind, maybe it would take a second. And here they come. I couldn't believe my eyes. The first zombie raced towards the site where we dropped the bottles. He paced like an impatient tiger ready to pounce, but he had nothing to attack. Suddenly, he attacked the wall where the sweat splashed up against it. Smart or not, this one was at the mercy of his overpowered senses. Look! Another one! Keep your voice down. I don't think anything could distract them. Here come several more. They just kept coming, running towards the soaked area, competing with each other, scrambling and kicking, biting and scratching, all on a feeding frenzy. Are you getting all this? Yeah. I am. How long do you think this is going to last? I... I don't know. That's why we experiment. But I'd say this is a positive result. Ha! <laughs> Score one for the humans. Nice work, Lizzie. Thank you, sir. Still, that is so weird. What about the smell of us is so special? How many do you count, Michael? About 15. Dang. Well, do we stay here and wait to see how long it takes for the smell to wear off? Mm Mm-hmm. By all accounts, once the smell is gone, there will be no reason for them to swarm anymore. We should know how long it lasts if we ever decide to do this again. Uh, Liz, they're on the move. They're going into the building. Did it wear off already? Is there something inside they're going after? Did they see us? The wind. The smell must have been blown inside the building through the windows. Look, more are heading inside. Michael? I'm scared. Just how keen is their sense of smell? Better not be Miles. It's time to go. The return line is on the other side of the roof. Take it down to the third floor and then move inside, quickly. But what if they see us? There isn't any other way. We have to risk it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I knew I shouldn't have come. Hurry! There's the line. Michael, get pegs on there first. Okay! Holy shit! They've reached the door! There's more coming! Ladies first, Lizzie. Hurry, hurry, hurry! I got you. Move! Whoa! Move out of the way. Saul and Michael should be right behind me. Get through! From across the way, I watched as Saul and Michael blew holes into the two zombies bursting through the door. Come on! They didn't wait around to see if any more would come up. I'm alright. Move! 
this wasn't so dangerous, I'd say it was fun. Look, they're on the roof. Get behind the tinted glass so they don't see us. Hurry. Oh my god, they're coming. They're not sure what to do now that we're gone. One seemed to be looking at the rope too intensely. Can they follow us? I mean, are they smart enough to do that? Saul, cut the rope. But it will see me. Uh, put this blanket over you. I feel ridiculous. Saul, hurry! I'm going as fast as I can. One's getting on the rope. Uh, sh sh should we shoot it? Stay behind the glass. Don't let them see you. The one in front seemed to lead the others. It's terrifying to see intelligence in the thing that's hunting you. The first one was within a few feet of our balcony. Saul! Got it! That is a long way down. Oh, thank God. I thought they might make it. Forget shooting those things. Maybe we should just drop them off a three stories. Seems to work pretty well. Are you sure the one still over there can't see us? Nah. There's a big old reflection on this side. We're good. After the ones on the rope fell, the others gradually turned away. In about five minutes, they had cleared out of the building and disappeared into the street. You said it was going to be safe. Shit happens, lady. Pegs, come on, why don't we head downstairs? <laughs> don't forget to write the rest in your journal, darling. I don't think she heard you. Nah, she heard me. She just don't care. So, are we trying this again tomorrow? I hope not. For right now, Angel is scheduled for guard duty. Seriously? After all of that? Your shift actually started five minutes ago. Sheesh. Come on, I'll go with you. Keep you company. Ah, there you are. We heard them not too far off. The rest of the survivors were starting to panic. I wondered if maybe something had gone wrong. Hm. What? What happened? Don't even ask. Hey, where are you going? Mr. Whiskers. We're all fine. They're all gone now. She's just a drama queen. Sorry to make you worry. I am not a drama queen! Never mind that. So, how did it go? There were like 15 of them, Riley each trying to be in front, competing for prey that wasn't even there. It, it was glorious. Until they figured out that we were on the roof. Oops. So they do go after sense. Can we use that to our advantage somehow? I'm sure Michael will come up with something. Oh, I've been thinking too much today. Do you have a beer in the fridge? Coming right up. So, did you sort out everything with pegs? As much as we could. Speaking of which, any headway with soul? Touch and go, but mostly go. What are you putting on? We took some video of the test. I'm writing everything down for Michael, and I don't want to miss anything. Oh, God. Look at them go at it. Yeah, it worked. Just wish we had more to go on. But as you can see, we didn't have much time. Stop! Right here! Look! Move your finger, I can't see. What is it? I still don't see anything. They're drooling like dogs. They do that. They're hungry. Not like this. They're dripping onto the ground. I had a dog once who I didn't neuter, and he did the same thing when he was around another dog in heat. It's something like the musk. Zombies and sex don't seem to go together, if you ask me. Sweat makes pheromones, and those bottles were filled with them, male and female. Attraction starts with the nose, and seems to end with their teeth. I have to go tell everyone. <laughs> Riley, you can cook, you can shoot. Is there anything you can't do? Apparently not. Michael was pleased to hear about our discovery. Things lately had fallen right into place without many issues. I wonder how much luck has to do with it. What are the odds of us surviving through all this? 
if there were other groups like us out there, would they be as far along figuring everything out like we were? We're on the right track. Nothing left to do but keep moving forward. Pair of sevens. Damn it! Michael? I was bluffing. <laughs> hey, you watching the monitors? You're the one on guard duty. I can whip your butt and protect it at the same time. I am multi-talented. Michael, pass the dip. Aw, oh, damn it, it's covered in ants already. Shit, this place is infested. You would think being on the second floor would give you some protection, but nope. Die, little fuckers. Your deal, Michael. So, uh, how much you up now? Should I count it now? I thought that was bad luck. There gotta be at least two grand here. Too bad for you, it's worthless. Uh, but knowing it was once yours just makes it all worth it. Isn't this great? Just a night with the guys. Well, I'm in for a hundred. Call. Stop gloating or we'll leave your ass to sit here alone for the rest of your shift. How many you want? Three. Two. <laughs> I'll take four. Ooh, look at you. I'm in for two grand. Fine. I'm all in. Michael? Fold. It's not even real money. Just stay in. Whatever. Betting is pointless anyway. Should we make it more interesting? No. I'm done doing betting real shit. I learned my lesson. Just show what you got. Ten high. I was going for a flush. Ha! Finally! I won. Pair of nines. Hold up. Take a look at these beauties. Two jacks. Dude, you folded. This shit ain't cool. <laughs> and you had him stay in. Whoops. Like you said, Saul, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm just tired of losing. You know what? I should just go upstairs. I'm not on for another hour. Come on, just sit. Eat your chips and be happy. Can't even enjoy those. The ants raided them. And then you smashed them. They're not on them anymore. But they got ant germs on them. Ant germs? Yeah, it's gross, man. Fine, you eat them. No, it's got Saul germs on it. Man. <laughs> Sit down, you big baby. Hey, Saul, one of your friends is back. I think he's mad at you. Well, tell him I'm opening up a new bag. Oh, come on. It's not like we can get any more of those once they're gone, you jerk. Hey, check this out. He's dragging the body off. Oh, uh, yeah. What does that remind you of? Why the hell do they do that anyway? I always thought it was like a soldier, you know? Never leave a man behind. What do you suppose they take him to? Huh. Never thought of that. Are we playing or what? Michael, it's your deal. Hold on, Saul. Where is he taking it? What? The ant? What the fuck do I care? Watch. Ah, oh, man! Now they're dead. Let's just keep playing. I got a lot to win back. What? Are we done playing? A nest. They would be taking the dead ant back to their nest, right? Or hive, or whatever. You think they got one of those? I don't know. We're not talking about ants anymore, are we? Well, how can we find out? It's too dangerous to follow them. What are you two talking about? Hey, some cars have a, um, uh, a low jack. Yeah, and you gotta look those up online to see where they're at. Cell phones? And that's online, too. They put those things on pets, dogs and cats. That... That's an ID chip. What the hell would that do? Stop it! Just stop it, both of you. What the fuck are you talking about? Maybe if you just included me... They gotta go somewhere, right? And those bodies wouldn't just disappear. You think that zombies from all over go back to one location? And you wanna find this place? What the fuck is wrong with you two? Exactly. Wouldn't you wanna know where that is? So maybe to avoid it? Yeah, well, I'm... Everything that we used to use for locating shit was all online. But the GPS satellites are still up there and they're functioning. Uh, isn't there something that would still work? Angel? I'm thinking. Do you guys wanna ask me? Why? What the hell you got? Well, since you apparently think I'm a dumbass, I'm not gonna say. All right, we weren't excluding you, Saul. We were just wrapped up in it. What did you think of? Well, in the 10th Mountain Division, we used to carry these little locators for when we were on foot through thick terrain. When a locator was activated, it sent back the coordinates of where each person was to another paired locator. Simple. And easy. But that's at Fort Drum in New York. It's a long way to... They sell a civilian model in most camping stores. There's a few near here I've been meaning to check out. We need a good set of radios anyway. What? You don't think this is going to work? Well, shit, then you no, guys... No, it's great. It's going to work. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, but... But what? 
Well, now we gotta find a way to get one of those locators on one of them. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. My name is Ryan Beal. I'm an actor, comedian, but I'm also a huge science fiction nerd. And it's been my lifelong dream to write a TV show as good as Star Trek. Imagine if Princess Diana ventured to the center of the Earth to save her best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and to do this, I've enlisted my two comedy writing partners, Mark Chavez and Maddie Kelly. Over the course of eight episodes, you'll hear us try to crack the code on our science fiction pilot. And when we run into trouble, we'll get help from serious experts. Why are you doing this? It's <laughs> Let's Make a Sci-Fi. Available now on CBC Listen and everywhere you get your podcasts. ACAST recommends. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Nico Marvin, Manly Woods, Michael Ray Clark, and Jenna McCombie. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Whelan. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Sock, and K.C. Wayland. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. There are a number of things that we can all do to help stop the spread of the coronavirus and protect ourselves and our families. One is simply to clean your hands often. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you've been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If you don't have access to soap and water, then make sure you use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. And finally, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. These are some simple things that we can all do to help protect ourselves and our families from the spread of coronavirus. Be well, everybody. <laughs>